check the mic and make sure it sound right. Hi, I'm DK Will. This is DK Will Talk About It, and this is the last and final in my series of XRP Behind the Curtain in this Land of Oz. This seventh and final um, video in the series is designed specifically to offer a sound basis and encouragement to um, know and understand the value of what we hold and have confidence in it such that you actually reach your goals. And that's the other key. Make sure you have goals. Because as the series has brought out, this is an orchestrated dance as much as it is a war between the U.S. and China. They are going to bring about a global financial system. They are going to level the playing field. They are going to have gold and asset back money. They are going to get the little guys ready before they let the big guy join in. And that's what they're doing through the BRICS nations and things like that. There is going to be a quantum financial system. It's already been installed and in place, and it's waiting for its turn to take over completely. All those things are no longer conspiracy theories. So here's what is fact for us. Take your profits. It's going to be a rocky road until they take it completely out of the hands of the common people. And they're going to take it completely out of the hands of the common people by making it so valuable, expensive, or common good, or national security, whatever, however they're going to do it. Now, there may be some who are smart enough or wise enough or bold enough or courageous enough that they'll hold on to 10 percent of their XRP, 15 percent of their XRP, come what may. But for the rest of that percentage, take your profits. Pigs eat, hogs get slaughtered. If your average in, if your average cost is 25 cents and you're looking at two dollars and 50 cents, a 10 times return and you don't take your profits and then it goes back down, that's on you. That's really on you. So don't be that person. Don't be that greedy person. And I want to say before I let this take off and meet you on the end at the conclusion that they do those high figure targets to make people hang in there because we are the sources of liquidity. We being the regular folks, if we're not wise and insightful like those of us here at DK will talk about it. <laughs> So they tell you, oh my gosh, it's worth 589, or oh my gosh, it's worth 10,000, or oh my gosh, it's worth 50,000. And then you believe that narrative. And since you're greedy and you're waiting for 589, for some reason, you've been convinced that $200 ain't good enough. Don't let that happen to you. You've been convinced that $10,000 is what it's worth, so you think that $7,000 ain't good enough. Don't let that happen to you. Take your profits, folks, but leave a little bit behind. I'm sure the videos covered that, too. I'm not a financial advisor. Please like and subscribe. This is a three-minute intro, and that is long enough. So let's get started. Remember, this is the point of maximum financial opportunity. Referring, keep in mind, this is the market psychology. This is the masses. This is how they think. This is how they react. And let's face the reality here. Most people lose money because for somebody to have 10% gains, somebody collectively or individually had to have 10% loss. So for the phenomenal numbers that we're looking for, for us to see a 2x, 3x, 10x, 100x, collectively there must be a group of people who lost that much money. So we don't want to be those who panic and capitulate, get angry and depressed and lose because we sold out. Market psychology describes the overall behavior of a market based on emotional and cognitive factors. And so when we look at that psychology chart again, you have to ask yourself, where do you think we are right now in this market cycle? And I'm going to demonstrate to you where we are. And then I'm going to hopefully help you see that it is a very good time to be confident instead of panicking or getting angry or capitulating or losing your belief in what you've already decided to do. Keep this in mind right here. Market manipulation, artificial inflation or deflation of the price of a security. Keep in mind, too, it says a security, which we know XRP has been deemed 
not to be a security on the secondary market. And I will see, I will hopefully show how that good news is just as much bad news for retail investors who don't embrace the spirit of what this video is all about. So what is market manipulation? It refers to artificial inflation or deflation of the price of a security. Anytime I say security here, say XRP, not because it is a security, but because it isn't. Also known as price manipulation or stock manipulation, it involves the literal manipulation of a financial market for personal gain. It means influencing the behavior of the securities with the XRP, we'll say, with the intent to do so. And we will find out that those we are in company with are very likely the ones who are doing just this. Point of maximum financial opportunity. The point of maximum financial opportunity is right there in that trough. So while the market psychology is feeling badly and reacting badly, we don't necessarily want to follow the market psychology now, do we? No. What we want to do is based on this article from Forbes. Now notice this article is 10 years old. So it's nothing new. But it says buy when there's blood in the streets. Buy when there's blood in the streets. Buy when there's blood in the streets. Uh, folks, I am not ashamed to say I'm a contrarian investor. I do not follow the crowd, if you remember. <laughs> if you remember my previous video from Twitter, I told you point blank. My thoughts are not mainstream because, see, the mainstream are subjected to this. And we here at DK will talk about it, hopefully, are not. Are we alone? Well, I asked the question on being, are crypto wells buying? Are crypto wells buying? And the answer is yes. And speaking on the primary recommendation, keep it in mind, I am not a financial advisor. I'm DK Will, and this is DK. We'll talk about it. But crypto wells are accumulating XRP after a recent price increase. This article is just a day old. So do you think the crypto wells know something that we don't know? Well, according to sentiment, they apparently do because they are accumulating, not selling. So if we're going to follow the money. And in prior uh, videos, I asked, who are the wells? The banks, financial institutions, the really big money. They're accumulating. So while the market cycle is falling prey to this type of thinking, we need to fall prey to this type of thinking. And we need to be thinking more of if at least hodl, hold on for dear life. And if you're in a position, this might be your opportunity for maximum financial growth. We all know about the recent uh, ruling for uh, XRP and Ripple that XRP is not a security based on this Thursday, July 2023 article that's in the National Law Review from today. And it poses a question, will there be a ripple effect? I'm in the room with Bogey, y'all. Forgive me. Bogey, don't start. A federal judge rules that some cells were not securities. Or which cells? Of course, we all know. Cells of XRP and its affiliates to the general public through anonymous exchanges did not constitute cells of securities. That's us, people. That's us. Now, keep in mind, the wells have been accumulated. Keep in mind, market manipulation. And keep in mind where we are in the psychology of the market. Because many were looking for their moon day. So somebody wants you to be discouraged. Stop, Bogey. Because see, it didn't moon, did it? 
And so if you are not savvy and you're not one of those old schoolers like myself and many others who have been holding on for years already, you might have taken your money and run. Because keep in mind, follow the money means follow the banks are the wells. And they need XRP for the system. We don't. We need it for our own personal wealth and livelihoods, generational wealth, maybe. So the only place they can get it is where? The only place they can get it is from us, people. And so if they can shake that carpet on that psychology of the market and make you let go, they get it cheap. Remember, they have accumulated enough. They've accumulated enough XRP to manipulate the price of the market. You see this November 22 article, which the other one was September 22 in the prior video. video excuse me. Wells buy XRP price dip and adds 129 million XRP. That's just a scrape of the surface, folks. Don't forget, banks and financial institutions own it and will need it for the movement of cross-border money. They are global. We are not, folks. So the wells have been on a buying spree, and now they can impact the market. And that because of this ruling, remember it's good news and it's bad news. Because of this ruling here that the sales are not securities. Well, if they're not securities and the securities and exchange has no jurisdiction over it. And therefore, if they do things like market manipulation, they haven't violated anything. So covertly they are protected and in their protection what they are doing having accumulated is shaking it away from the retail hands because that's the only place they can get it and if you if you come to the place where you recognize that the retail investor does not impact the price the way you are led to believe because when you sell your 2,000 coins at 10 cents, it is nothing compared to their 2 million coins at $20. Do you understand what I'm saying? So to beat this game, you cannot believe what they tell you. You cannot do what they say you're doing. You have to do what they are doing and the best time to do what they are doing is the basics of any market where you want to make money you buy low and you sell high it doesn't even matter if you are shorting the market you still sell high and then you buy low so the the equation is what matters you buy low and you sell high. When the markets are red, you buy low and you sell high. And now is the time to do that. While we're right down here at the bottom here, everyone's capitulated and losing any hope or belief system. You don't want to be among those buying up this chart here. And you can see these dips. These dips are what make people go sick. Because, yeah, it's beautiful, and then it drops, and you and you get sick. And, and if you don't time it right, you'll find yourself up here all euphoric, and then you'll crash down, and you'll crash down, and you have to play that game. But if you start down here, down here, which is now, everything from here up is good, no matter what. You're never going to be a loser. As long as you don't get greedy, like I told you, pigs eat, hogs get slaughtered, don't be a hog. As long as you don't get greedy and you exit, the robot can't mess with you. The robot can't mess with you because your psychology is mellow, baby. Your psychology is disciplined. You already know I'm going to sell 20% of mine at optimism. I'm going to sell another 25% of mine at belief. I'm going to sell another 40% of mine at thrill. And then I'll risk that remaining, what did I say? 10, 15%, I don't know what numbers I gave. 
you know, then I'll then maybe I'll try to really get greedy to the euphoria, but I'm going to get out as soon as it drops down to here. You see what I mean? No stress. No stress because you're already winning as soon as it starts. Why are you winning as soon as it starts? Because you bought low. Because you bought low. And now you're just waiting to sell high. So folks, why am I doing this video? Well, because if we don't understand money, or at least have an open mind to the various forms of money, we might be hurt. And I don't want my listeners to be hurt. I want my listeners to be ready. Okay. So maybe here too, think of how crypto assets might be used to circumvent capital flow management measures, undermining the stability of domestic economies and the global system. That's exactly what's going to happen, folks. We're going to crash and we're going to crash hard. So we need to know where to go to hide from the crash and maybe not get caught on the downfall, so to speak. And I don't have the answers, but I'm looking for them. And I hope if I find them and you agree that you also take to heart the things I'm saying, understanding that I am not a financial advisor. I am not a legal representative or a lawyer. I'm not even a religious leader, but I talk about all of that and then some because, see, this is DK. We'll talk about it. And I'm not quite done talking about it. And the reason I'm not quite done talking about it is because I want to touch on some of this right here. Ten genius things Warren Buffett says to do with your money. Now, I haven't read this yet. I'm going to catch up on it. I read a piece of it in the beginning just to see if I wanted to use it. And I do. So it might be a little haphazard, but I'm going to say I'm going to touch on a few things that I want to say that I've said before. And anyone who's been with me for a while knows it's consistent, but I'm going to say it again. OK, the one first thing he says is never lose money. OK, it says here one of the most popular pieces of Buffett advice is as follows. Rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget. Rule number one, if you're working from a loss, it's much harder to get back to where you started, let alone to earn gains. Now, why am I showing you this? Because I have said many times to those who listen to my channel know that I said I just hate that phrase. Only invest what you can afford to what? Only invest what you could afford to lose? Really? Then you are saying, I'm going to be a loser. No, you only invest what you can afford. You only invest what you can afford to walk away and let it work until it does the right thing for you. And the right thing for you is to buy it low and to sell it high. I say, Prepare to win. Moving on. So why is XRP digital gold? Well, both XRP and gold play an important role in the international monetary system. One that's going under change as we speak. And the Russia and Ukraine is just a cover story. But Russia, as you'll see in one of my prior videos, has gone gold back. Many countries will follow. That's just a um, mask and a disguise for getting this done. Moving on, both maintain an explicit link to gold and are systems under which nearly all countries fix the value of their currencies in terms of a specified amount of gold. Unbeknownst to many, that aren't paying attention. We are making a transition to a quantum financial system that is going to be a gold asset backed system that's not even worth me arguing with anybody about it anymore because it's happening. And if you recall that little bleep from Holly shows that they are aware of it too. And folks who are waiting for the dinar, I want to stress to you, this is bigger than dinar. Dinar is not going anywhere until everything goes everywhere. But that's okay. It'll be worth it. And moving on, both secure fixed exchange rates between participating currencies. And fortunately, since gold was a fixed rate, XRP can promise a fixed rate because it only takes four seconds or less to settle. And so each party, each corresponding party, receiver and sender, agree that, hey, in these three and a half to four seconds, we're going to accept that the rate is what it is right now. Oh, two. 
Oh, it's good. And it's done. And both act as hedges against inflation. And I put in parentheses that collapse of a financial system. And the reason I put that there, folks, is because please let me stress to all those who are already in the crypto universe. I believe Brad Gar Garlinghouse 99% are going to die and that will make XRP the greatest hedge against inflation and collapse, just like indestructible gold. This is the basis, folks, of me determining and in my investment strategies that those are safe places to have my cryptocurrencies, that those coins are going to survive the slaughter because I believe Brett Garlinghouse when he said 99% of them will be gone. And with 10,000 plus coins out there, that's a lot of blood in the streets. Now and it's more than 27,000. And so this schematic, even though it's a year old, by the time you're looking at this uh, video, now it's, it's over three point. years the old. The Corda in the middle there, that happened in Italy a while ago. They've been up and running. And so uh, Swift, they're making those transformations. And so the basis for my this video here, X marks the spot, is right in front of you. And it doesn't stop there. This schematic here actually gives a timeline. And it, based on that timeline, we can see there, go live in November of 21. Go live, go live, go live in November of 21. We see in 2019, the ISO 20022 at the Fed wire, wire down there, we see the legacy changes beginning from November 2020. We see the ISO 22 like for like three months stability phase. So this is all plotted out, folks, and as we can see, it doesn't have a very long timeline, uh, 2019 to 2025. And so just to uh, also support my theory that one day you're going to go to sleep and you're going to wake up and you're going to look at your uh, XRP and other currencies. And if you held on and didn't get rattled and shaken and, 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 and dropped off, shaken loose, you are going to see a big bang in your portfolio. Is that an original statement from DK Will? Not necessarily. Because you can see in a very similar schematic uh, as the one previously shown that they refer to it as the big bang of November 21. And it looks at by about go live quarter one of 22 pretty much everything's going to be up and running and then it's going to go to the maturation phase it's going to achieve its maturity uh basically from 2023 to 2025 we're in 2021 right now folks so that's not a whole lot of time we're in 2023 so if you can hang in there if you give an iota i really believe we should all go to where x marks the spot noise we're just noise in fact as I prepared this video it was almost offensive to the level that we're viewed meaning the normal consumer retail investor we're just noise and delete didn't make that term up that's what we're referred to as noise and as far as XRP goes, the purpose of this video is to encourage the XRP army out there to don't let them shake you out until you reach your goals. Because if you have the strength, the intestinal fortitude, and the patience, you will. That wraps it up. Thank you if you've been following along in the series. I notice I barely, I, I'm, I'm still in two digits on these videos, but I'm going to do what I do because I do what I do. Like I mentioned, I'm not a puppet.
I do what I think matters. And in all frankness, if you are one of those who are blessed enough, smart enough, happenstance enough, or serendipitously enough to come across my videos and to enjoy them, then I congratulate you. Because we're going to win, folks. And we are going to reach our goals. And so just remember, while you're on this journey, which is probably going to get a little bit more rocky going forward, remember to take your profits. Start now. Start now determining where and what you want out of this and then have the discipline to do it when the time comes. I guess it's time for me to look for other material. I hope that you like. I hope that you share. I hope that you subscribe. And I hope after you subscribe, you come back for more. I'm DK Will. And this is DK. We'll talk about that. I've talked about it. Have a wonderful day. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right.